you're here just for the battles, check the timestamps in the description, otherwise I'm going to be talking about this team. Now, the idea of this team was to, I wanted to come up with a team that had some of my all-time favorite Pokemon, and I wanted it to work within Regulation G, right? So, all-time favorite Pokemon being Cacturn, Houndoom, Galvantula, Volcarona, three of those are terrible in Regulation G, and they're all special attackers. So, it was like, what can I even do for my restricted as well as what's a final good support mon now going through the restricteds you know i love maridon but it's a special attacker and none of the others i felt like you know really the only others like maybe groudon could have been good because i needed a physical attacker and i really like the synergy between sun and solar beam on cacturn as well as sun with houndoom and volcarona on the team right also, it's just good to have weather with how prevalent Pelipper is. It's good that, you know, I can get Sun up and kind of resist some of Pelipper's attacks, maybe even make him miss. So that's where I landed onto Coridon, because I thought Coridon's stronger than Groudon, at least in my opinion, it is. And it's just, you know, it has great synergy. It's also a physical attacker. But that left me very, very weak to both Fairy and Dragon. Like, I had no answers to it, right? Like, looking at my team, Fairy n hits at least normal effective into most of my team, if not crazy super effective. And Dragon hits super effective or just kind of neutral across. And there are a lot of Fairy and Dragon Pokemon. So it was like, what do I choose to kind of help out there? Also, a big problem is I don't have speed control, right? I So I tried bringing Tinkaton in as a Fairy Dragon counter because it's Steel Fairy. It's also a Fake Out user, so it might be able to do some damage. But the problem is, is that that pushes Galvantula into the speed control. And Galvantula is not great at speed control. It gets moves, don't get me wrong. It gets moves as speed control, but not great moves. So also, um, a Twitch viewer of mine made a team with Galvantula as the speed control because I was trying to make it work and so he he made it and it wasn't a great like I mean it was as best as it could be but it wasn't great right so then Tinkaton didn't really work super well which made me lean on Tornadus because you have the Tailwind you also can just manually set the Sun right I found a lot of the time that Tornadus Cacturn was a very common lead and being able to manually set the Sun with Tornadus and then Cacturn can just go for a first turn solar beam if that's what I want to do like it is super super good So Tornadus really fit the slot well, and I think Tornadus was just a great support Pokemon across the board now for the core four, right? This Cacturn set is actually pretty common. The only thing that's different is the Terra type um, It's Cacturn's pretty much always run with choice specs and it's always run with grass knot solar beam dark pulse and Terra blast normally it's Terra water Right, it's normally Terra Water for a Water Terra Blast. I just found that I had nothing, nothing I could do against uh, Dragon Pokemon. So I did Terra Fairy and it really came in clutch a lot of battles. There were so many battles that I could just Terra Fairy Terra Blast under like a Tailwind or something and it would just nuke my opponents. It was super, super fun. It was absolutely needed. Um, so I, I honestly think that Terra Fairy, at least on this team, works a lot better. This Volcarona set, very common bulky Volcarona set, right? I could have done the Tailwind option on Volcarona, but I really like the idea of Rage Powder and I really like the idea of Will-O-Wisp. And of course, I like to have Protect on every single Pokemon or try to have Protect on every single Pokemon. So it was like, those three moves were already taken and it needs an attacking move. So I couldn't really put Tailwind on it. So that's why I didn't really look to, to use it as a Tailwind setter for my speed control, but, um, Volcarona, this is just the common bulky set, great against Water Urshifu, um, and just really great against a lot of physical attackers that make contact because of that flame body, so not too fun there. Um, I'm gonna skip Houndoom because this is probably my favorite set, and I'm gonna go to Galvantula. Now, Galvantula, I started off with having, you know, like a Choice Scarf, um, and so is the speed control was a Choice Scarf with like String Shot, Electro Web, Thunder, um, and like Struggle Bug or Volt Switch or something, right? And 
it, you know, so it kind of played that pivoting mod as well as some speed control, and it just, it it's not great at that, right? So then it's like, once I got brought Tornadus on the team, I was like, okay, well, let me keep Struggle Bug, um, or let me put Struggle Bug on because it's great for checking some of the, you know, heavy special attackers. I think it's really good. Thunder is such a great move against Pelipper and Kyogre. If they're setting up rain, you can punish them with Thunder. Um, and then, of course, I want Protect because I just like Protect Sash because Galvantula is super, super frail. So the final move was kind of tough, right? Like, it could have been Electro Web, and I, you know, Electro Web could still be a great move. Um, you know, it could have been like a Volt Switch. And I kind of landed upon Helping Hand. I think that move could really be anything and honestly helping hand i wasn't able to showcase it really in any of the battles in this video on showdown when i was testing it helping hand actually came in quite well but i could also see for other times of like oh electro web would have been awesome here or you know getting some extra damage here or there would have been fine so i think helping hand doesn't really it doesn't need it but it's kind of cool to have it the coolest mod on this team in my opinion and the one i'm the most proud of is this houndoom so this houndoom right it's expert belt because i couldn't think of another item i would have loved to have it with sash and destiny bond um but people would be like that doesn't make any sense i'll explain why i think it makes sense um but it, it just I, I couldn't think of really anything so i just threw expert belts on there to do a little bit more damage with super effective hits of course you need to have dark pulse right i think overheat is really good you could also have like flamethrower but i was like you know what Houndoom is all about sacrificing itself. It's kind of like the final gambit on Annihilate. It's like, just let me sacrifice myself. So that's why I thought Overheat was better because it's like you are at most getting off one Overheat before you click Destiny Bond. Just use Overheat. Of course, Protect, but Destiny Bond, right? This is so fun because under Tailwind, most of the time you will outspeed every Pokemon. Also, Houndoom being Dark Fire resists a lot of hits like it it's not super like fairy's not super effective into it um so it's able to kind of be a check for um calyrex for flutter main um you know it, it's it's really really fun like really fighting and ground and rock are are the worst into it but when it's super effective into it okay well destiny bond you want to get knocked out right like you want that fast destiny bond that gets you knocked out I did play a little bit around with a uh, choice scarf, um, but it I, I found that I wanted to, you know, in other turns, like I, I didn't want to just only click Destiny Bond every turn because I found a lot of the times like I actually would survive a hit or two. So I was like, okay, well, I want that to be kind of like a final gambit as they're not recognizing this is going to happen. And in the battles in this video, I showcase how good Destiny Bond is and it is amazing it is so much fun to use um i went terra grass with it because i was like you know it resists ground um it's also would be make sure that i wouldn't get rage powdered and stuff like that um i thought just you know terra grass is great on you know on fire pokemon it also resists water and stuff like that so you know it, i never found that i would ever terra houndoom that's just kind of like a default on there you could go a little bit more offensively and do like terra fire or terra dark but i was like you know it, it would be nice to just have a uh you know have terra grass on it just in case but yeah that is the team i hope you enjoy this video also if you want to check out the team i am absolutely sharing the team id the rental code please use it please have fun remember it's not that good because i'm not the best team builder and i mean just look at the team like let's be honest look at the team it's not great but it's a lot of fun to use there's a lot of really cheeky things you can do in best of one that people are not expecting so have fun with it and i hope you enjoy the battles let's get to them let's take a look so kai ogre so you know, this isn't the, the worst matchup that we could have, to be completely honest, with our Cacturn, with Galvantula. Uh, it's, it's not the worst. It's, it's not great, <laughs> but it's not the worst. So what do I expect from my opponent, right? I, I think we just lead Tornadus. Honestly, Tornadus is a really strong lead. Now, our opponent could do Tornadus as well. Um, I could really see a passive lead from our opponent. I what would be good is if you do bring Rillaboom that will power up our Cacturn. So, you know, of course, who knows what this Kyogre is, right? It could be Scarf Ogre, it could be Mystic Water, it could be Specs. Like we really don't know. So, 
I think let's just kind of force um, an aggressive play where we, you know, leading this, I could always... Ooh, if I swap, though, because Cacturn could bait a swap into a Houndoom for the Flash Fire boost. So, honestly, I think let's bring Houndoom, even though it doesn't look good. I bet you our opponent is going to be bringing Incineroar, and I would love to be able to get, this, the like, a Flare Blitz into Houndoom. That would be super fun. Also, Destiny Bond is very, very good. It's uh, not a lot of people are going to be expecting the Destiny Bond. So, if we can get Trick Room, or if we can get the Tailwind up. Okay, so it's just, it's just this lead. I'm honestly okay with this lead because this means that so we probably will see a um oh here's the question right so I I definitely need to get tailwind but what if I wanted to do sunny day but we I think we need tailwind no matter what because here's the thing right we get the tailwind up if you go for a um Yeah, if, if you go for a Bleak Wind versus... Oh, but but we could get... No, no, we need the Tailwind up. And then I think we Grass Knot. Even though they could Bleak Wind, they do go for the Terra. And that's kind of what I was expecting, right? It's like I was expecting a Terra. Terra Water. Oh, no. This is not good. Maybe I should have done a Sunny Day. But then they would have just been faster. But we would have mitigated the amount of damage we're about to take. So, oh no. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Water spout. Okay. Oh wait, we have water absorb on Cacturn. That's right. What am I worried about? Uh, bye bye Tornadus. That- 2 HP! 2 HP in a dream? No way, buddy! Oh my- Yes! Oh, and the crit! Holy moly! Talk about a um, an amazing first turn for us. 2 HP. That is insane. That is actually insane. Oh, I need to carry this momentum. I have to carry this momentum right now. There's these... It's, we have to. We have to. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the Sunny Day, and then I'm going to bring in the Houndoom. Because what the Sunny Day is going to do is the Sunny Day is going to make Bleak Winds less accurate, right? That's going to drop the accuracy. Also, we could just see like a fake out Bleak Wind, but if we see, okay. Oh, we see a fake out into the Cacturn slot. Okay, I'm, I think I'm okay with that. Because, yeah, it doesn't get us our boost, but it makes Bleak Wind miss. Oh, it still hits. Okay, St still hits our Tornadus, but I'm okay with that. I'm I'm honestly okay with that because now that allows us to bring into our Coridon. Um, Unfortunately, right, we still do have... You know, it's like we're, we're going to be very limited on our turn, so we're just going to kind of have to watch out. But let's take a look here, right? So... Two turns of Tailwind, two turns of Tailwind, because we set it up on the same day. Um, what do you have in the back? You don't have anything that could take a collision course. So, I think we go for this. Oh, I could even go for the Terra Fire. I actually really like this idea. Um, and then, I'm thinking of going for an Overheat into the Tornado slot. The reason I'm going for the Terra Fire here is because... I don't want Bleak Winds to connect and do super effective damage into my Coridon. Yeah, we do lose the ability to resist, you know, knockoffs and stuff like that from the Incineroar. But we also don't see the Incineroar swap out here. So, okay, goes for the Rain Dance. That's a little unfortunate for us. But we still get the Collision Course off, right? We get the Collision Course off. Our Overheat's not going to do a lot. But I can always swap into my... Um, I can always swap into my Cacturn. So we get the overheat. Oh, do we just miss? Okay, we don't miss the overheat, but we do. Let's see how much damage we do. We do a solid chunk of damage, to be honest with you. We do a really solid chunk. Now, there's... So I kind of feel like it might be Zarina in the back. 
No, it's Urshifu. That's really not good. Okay, that is really bad for us. Um... Let's go for the Destiny Bond. Protect's pointless here. Dark Pulse is pointless. Um, if we go for the Destiny Bond, we might actually we, we might be able to get something. Um, so hopefully we you know if you go into the Cacturn slot. Oh. Hound Doom, be faster. Hound Doom is faster. Yes. And he's going for an attack. Yes! Yes! Uh, oh, it was its single strike. Oh, it's single strike. But that doesn't matter because Destiny Bond comes into play. And that means that it is dead. Yes! Oh, that is so fun. That is so fun. I'm so glad we were able to use that tech. Oh, that is so fun. Okay, so now we're, we got to go into... So we're got to go into Crydon, right? So here's the thing, right? You do you like do you rain dance? Cuz you could always go for a rain dance because you don't want it to do as much damage. You don't, but here's the thing. We could always collision course expecting you to rain dance. I think let's just flare blitz. Let's just flare blitz it up. That was humongous. Okay, they don't even- he doesn't even go for a rain dance, so yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. That should be GG's, unless you're super bulky. Whoo, baby! Okay, that was a real- like, that was about as perfect as you could play with this team to get the win against Kyogre. We do have a good matchup into Kyogre, but that was just- yes! Oh man, I'm so happy about that. That was- that was about as good as it could go. I'm also very surprised. I guess I just... Yeah, I don't know. I, I was just expecting it to be Water Urshifu. Because in Rain, Water Urshifu was just absolutely insane. But that... that I mean, each turn... The, the only thing that I think we could have maybe done a little bit better... Would be... Going for a sunny day. If we had gone for a sunny day, but but yeah, if if we had gone for a sunny day, that probably would have been the only thing that we could have done better because it would have lowered the amount of damage from I think that's that's the only other option that we could have done. I think that was that if, if we had gone for a sunny day the first turn. But I was worried about tailwinds. I you know, who who knows? If we had gotten crit, if it had gone for an ice beam. You know, there's a lot of different things that could have happened because, you know, it, clearly he didn't realize that Cacturn get, gets water absorb. Otherwise, he probably would have gone for something different. But I don't know. I think that, the, I mean, that's exactly why I like water absorb on Cacturn and then why I like running the flash fire on Houndoom is because you have those swap options. You have the ability to swap, you know, uh, Houndoom, Volcarona, and Terra Fire Coridon out into Cacturn for the water absorb. And then you can swap Cacturn out into Houndoom for the Flash Fire. So, super fun. I, I enjoyed that. I think that was, like, the perfect match. So, let's see if there's another one. Let's see. Ooh, it is a Shadow Rider Calyrex matchup. Now, Cacturn is really good in this matchup. So is Houndoom. I really like the idea of just, like, leading Tornadus Houndoom. Because, honestly, like... I, I kind of feel like it could just be, yeah, I, I honestly feel like it could just be either a Clefairy Shadow Rider or it could be like Incineroar Shadow Rider or something, right? So I'm just going to go for this. And the reason why Cacturn's really good here is because Cacturn is a great check for the uh, well, I mean, not, not the best check, but it's a pretty good check for the Raging Bolt. Um, it also has Water Absorb, which if this is the Surging Strikes Urshifu, that would be quite nice. And then, um, you know, and then, you know, of course we have to bring Coridon, and then Houndoom and Tornadus, you know, that's, that's just a strong lead. I've done a little bit you know i've gone up a little bit a little bit against shadow rider calyrex and i found that you know houndoom 
Tornadas is a pretty decent lead just into whatever they try to go for. So let's take a look and see what we got going on. It really just could be a whole bunch of stuff that, that they go for. So, okay, so it is just the, the Clefairy Calyrex, right? Now, here's the thing. We could read that... So it could be Follow Me Clefairy, right? It could be a Follow Me Clefairy going into a... Um, so we have to get Tailwind up. Um, I, I think we need Tailwind up. Now, you have to go for the Follow Me... Knowing that you're probably going to be following me, and it's probably going to be a Calm Mind. You know what? I don't think you knock us out. Let me go for the Taunt into the Clefairy, and then let me go for the... Let me go for the Dark Pulse into the Calyrex. Um, this will make sure that you can't follow me again. And then we don't drop our special attack at all, and then I can Tailwind the next turn. Especially if this is a... Um, if this is a nasty plot... Okay, or a Calm Mind. So it's a Calm Mind. So now you're at plus one. I still don't think Astral Barrage will knock out my Houndoom. It probably will knock out my... Um, it probably will knock out Tornadus. Yeah, we, we kind of have to go for the Tailwind. I, I don't really think there's any other way around it to not to not go for the Tailwind here. We could see a Terra come out. Could be like Terra Fairy. I, I don't think we need to Destiny Bond this turn, though. I don't think we need to Destiny Bond this turn. I think even at plus one, I don't think a Spread Astral Barrage will be able to knock out. And I don't think a plus one Draining Kiss would be able to knock out Houndoom uh, at neutral. I, I just don't foresee that working okay so that's not the end of the world it could be a protect coming out from this calyrex could always be a protect coming out but we still get the tailwind up so it's still like a you know not a wash yeah okay it's a protect that's fine by me um because we don't reveal that we have destiny bonds we get the tailwind up i can now go for a protect and a taunt and what that allows us to do is that then of course you know Clefairy could then come in next turn, um, but we go for a Taunt, and then I go for a Protect, just so that we don't get, like, a, a Fake Out and then a Crit from, like, an Astral Barrage that then kills the Houndoom without us being able to get a Destiny Bond up, because Destiny Bond right now is going to be really nice. It's, it's still a little scary because it is at plus one. That's like the only thing that's rough is that Calyrex is still at plus one right now. And I don't, I don't like it being at plus one. And I don't like the fact that... Okay, so he goes with the Terra. We do force a Terra, which is really cool. Forcing a Terra means we can kind of see what we need to go for for an attack. Okay, so it's Terra Fairy. That's to be kind of just expected. I feel like that's just a normal... It also means it might not be going for... It could be a fake out into the Tornadus, right? Because if it's sashed... Mm, if you're thinking I'm sashed, you know? But I, I still don't think it one-shots us. So, okay, goes for the Draining Kiss. Okay, I am A-OK -okay with that. And then... Um, okay, you go for the Parting Shot. Fair enough. Um, honestly, I could just overheat. I could just taunt overheat the Clefairy on switching, right? Because you're not going to... I don't think you're going to be able to knock us out with... Uh, unless you're helping hand, but even then, I don't think you can. So, let's just taunt and then overheat. <clears throat> and then I can Destiny Bond next turn. Uh, but yeah, we get the taunt so that it kind of makes it... <clears throat> makes this Clefairy useless. You, if you go for the the Draining Kiss, that doesn't knock out. This Overheat, yeah, it's not going to do a lot of damage, but it still does a decent chunk. That's actually a lot more than I thought it would. And this Astral Barrage should not one-shot. It should not knock out, unless you get a crit onto Houndoom. It does not one-shot Houndoom. So, now, what I can do is... What do we have? We have one more turn of Tailwind.
see, you're not going to be scared, right? Like, you're not scared of, um... Yeah, so let's just go for a Sunny... Mm. Let's go for a Bleak Wind, and then let's go for a Destiny Bond. Because you're not scared, right? Like, you're just going to go Astral Barrage again, because you know that I can't knock you out. Because I'm at minus two, so you probably are just like, yeah, let's just... And, and if you go for the Protect, that would be unfortunate, but um, that means that we can just get... Uh, we can just get, uh, whatchamacallit up next turn, so... This is good, this is good, this is really good. This is really, really good. Okay, we miss, who do we miss? We missed Calyrex, that's unfortunate, but we still get some damage onto the Incineroar. Doesn't really matter because please go for the Astral Barrage. Please be going, yes! That means, oh, bye bye buddy! Because that's the knockout onto the Houndoom. Let's get it! Yes! Okay. Awesome. Good stuff. Unfortunately, you know, we lose our speed control. Um, and so, you know, we can just get faked out this next turn. But, uh, but for the, I, I mean, for what it is, it's not too, too bad. Right. We can kind of see, we can see what the board state looks like coming out of here. Um probably would need to terra cacturn i'll be honest with you okay we do need a terra cacturn that's fine by me um yeah i mean i i feel like we just go for a protect onto the karaidon because i don't want karaidon being faked out right i don't want karaidon being faked out i you know it could be a fake out into yeah, but uh, but I don't I don't want to get faked because the problem is right is if I get faked out and then you target the Coridon, then you, uh, with like a Draco Meteor, I lose, <laughs> right? I like I'm done. So I don't want to do that. I would rather you know go for the protect. Yeah, it could you know it, it might cause it to be a little bit of a more difficult in game, but um, you know but if this is A V, you know. I, I, I don't know what this is going to be, but, uh, but hey, we are, uh, we, they also don't have a Terra. They don't have a Terra, so, <clears throat> um, we don't see any swaps. It could, it could all very well be, like, a parting shot, and it could be a parting shot into the Cacturn, for all we know, right? Like, it could just be a parting shot into the Cacturn. I feel like probably not, because you'd want to go for some type of fake out. Um, ah, uh, that's fine, for the most part. Oh, it's not fine. I could have literally just gotten the nuke. I could have straight up gotten the nuke onto... Yeah, I think actually we just lose. I think we straight up lose now. Because um, cause you're going to be faster. We get the... I think really our only way out is just trying to get some collision courses. Clefairy has a chance to come in here because you can just electro web again and if we had stayed as grass We would not have taken as much damage, but the problem is is that how was I supposed to know you know you weren't going for yeah mm. Oh, okay I Don't necessarily agree with that because I feel like you're kind of Okay, you're trying to keep the Incineroar alive is what I'm assuming, but yeah, that's an interesting play. Hmm. I... Inch that was an interesting play. Okay, we're still in this. Um, the reason why we're still in this is because... So you could go for another Electro Web, right? You could go for an Electro Web. It drops my speed... And, and does knock out my, um, oh, let's see, how many turns are left of Harsh Sunlight? Okay, not enough. So, we go for the Terra Blast if you miss your, yeah, we go for the Terra Blast in case you miss your, you could go for a, th a, a um, Thunderclap as well. But in case you miss the Electro Web, because uh, I think it's a 95% accurate move, so if you miss that... No Thunderclap comes out, so let's see how much damage this Collision Course goes does. 50%, that's not terrible. Okay, goes for the Draco. Gets the Knockout. So, I guess you're probably AV, um, expecting to be able to get the Knockout. 
Now, if we had gone for the Protect onto the Cactor, or onto the Coridon, that would have been amazing. Let's see how much, how much. Oh my gosh, we get the win! Yes! Uh, the misplay by my opponent was bringing in the Clefairy. I, I honestly think that the misplay was the Clefairy. Um, that 100% bringing that in, you sacrifice your Incineroar for really no reason when you have the speed control. Um, and you can just go for another Electro Web where it knocks out the Cacturn and yeah, okay, you lose your Incineroar, but then you have the speed on my Coridon and there's no, I, at least I don't know of a Dragon move on Coridon that really works. Also, you'd have Clefairy next to, uh, Raging Bolt. So I think that was the, uh, the misplay there, but... A couple of really close games, a couple of really fun games in this episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. I don't know how I'm going to put the, video, the the battles, so there might be a bonus battle. I think will probably be how it's done, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the battles that we had, and I hope you enjoyed this team. Please use it. Have some fun with it. Let me know, if you do use it, how it goes, um, and just... Have a great one, but uh, go check out the the bonus the the bonus battle. That this is kind of like the outro. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But uh, but keep watching. Keep having fun. Let's take a look. So oh, interesting. So we're being thrown a bit of a bone. Uh, but I will also say because usually when there's no gimmick on, or sorry when there's no restricted on the opposing team, there's always a gimmick that annihilates me. <laughs> uh, that. Hisuian Zor uh, Zorark is what is going to kind of scare me. I'd be surprised if we get it this But okay, so Cacturn is going to be really good here because Cacturn is the Terra Fairy Terra Blast. I Of course we bring Coridon. I almost like leading Tornadus and Cacturn. I think that into this team that's going to be really good i really like coridon in the back i think coridon will just be super strong into our opponent's team and then for the final pokemon i'm not the biggest fan i think houndoom has you know some options because of destiny bond but i don't really like it too much considering there's a lot of fighting i don't know i just don't really like volcarona but I also don't like Galvantula as much. You know what? Let's go with Galvantula. And let's uh, let's go into this. So, okay. Our opponent has not locked in yet. If they don't lock in by the end... Okay, they did lock in. Okay. I, I was going to say, we'll see uh, Zero, uh, the Hisuian Zerark. Oh my god, I hate saying that word. Uh, but we'll see what our opponent leads. I, I think that Cacturn is just really good into a lot of pretty much my entire opponent's team. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I don't really want to go for... Mm. So, how much do you want to bet they will not predict that I'm Terra Fairy? I doubt that they're going to predict I'm Terra Fairy here. So, definitely going to Tailwind... I almost just see them going for a... I could see them going for their own Terra or swapping out. But I feel like this Terra Fairy, unless it's going to be Terra Fire Coquabble, then this is pretty safe because I don't expect to see an Iron Head into the Cacturn unless they're expecting a... Okay, so we should be the only one going for the Terra this turn because... We should be the slowest. Cacturn's base speed is 55. And I do have some speed investment in it. But I would be very surprised if... Yeah, okay. I'd be very surprised if we were faster than, like, Quaquabble or something. But now we're going to be faster. And we get the Terra Blast off. So this should one-shot it. Because we are choice specs. And uh, it's super effective. Oh, if it's sashed, though, then... Yeah, that'll definitely do it. Let's see what our opponent goes for. Because I... Okay, goes for the Iron Head into the Tornadus. That is perfect for us. And then, yeah, see, I was worried about the like a like a, a close... Con I was worried about a fighting move is really what it was. I was worried about a fighting move. And so, let's go for the Bleak Wind. And then, if I'm expecting an Iron Head close combat, 
I could just go into my Galvantula. See, because what I'm worried about is I'm worried if I miss a Bleak Wind. Let's go into Coridon. I don't think we will really see anything. I mean, you know, Galvantula right now is probably the one Pokemon we don't really need. In this matchup, it's kind of the... Oh, uh... Hello? Okay. Okay, we do connect with both. So that's that's a big weight off our shoulders. Um the hello? <laughs> what is happening? What is go what is happening right now? Hello? And then the iron head into the Crydon still oh it was a crit. Mm, that's not great for us. Yeah, what it what Pokemon is it trying to focus right now? At least we still get to see okay, so Scrafty comes out. I, you know, it could be, it uh, could be fake out, so I'm just gonna go for a protect here. Um, you can't fake out my Coridon, so you could double, or sorry, you can't fake out my Tornadus because I am, okay, goes for the Endure, interesting, okay, there's no fake, or unless, no, okay, so no fake outs, this might just, uh, might be AV on the Scrafty. No, it is the Hisuian Zoroark, okay. So, we should be able to live this, I'm hoping, because we are, like, max investment in Tornadus. We are max investment. Um, and then I could go for the Flame Charge. I think just go for the Flame Charge, get the speed up, so then if we do lose our Tornadus at the end, Coridon still is going to be super fast. Um, the only thing that could kind of suck is if... Hisuian Zorark goes for a, like, a Protect. That would, and then the, okay, goes for the Sucker Punch. That's, a uh, that's cool on, uh, on the Doug Trio. But that means that we, you know, we still get the Speed Boost here. And, um, so I'm very happy about that. Very, very happy. And then we are able to bring in, so his final Pokemon is Scrafty. And we are able to bring out, um, our Cacturn, right? Cacturn's not really gonna, or Scrafty's not gonna be able to really do much against Cacturn. I mean, it could get Iron Head. I would be surprised if you had Iron Head on Scrafty, just considering you have the, um, uh, uh, the, yeah, the Alolan Dug Trio. So, I would be, you know, it, it would be very interesting. Now, here's the thing, though. I do have to watch out... But I should be fine with this, because as long as we have our boy Galvan- Well, Galvantula in the back should be fine. I guess it's just going to be kind of scary, depending on whatever this is. But Fairy and Fire don't get, you know, not resisted into something. So, get okay, that's not great, but there's not really anything else that would have been good. I mean, yeah, we could have Dark Pulsed, I guess. Uh, fake out that's. bad oh that's really bad okay um yeah this is really bad actually i think we might lose um because basically i want to reset the cacturn I completely forgot about Fake Out. I want to be honest with you, because because of the last turn when it came out. Yeah, no, this is bad. This is... I'm hoping that they go for Sucker Punches. Please go for Sucker Punches. That would be great. Okay, Iron Head is fine, because it's not very effective. Um, and it goes for the Drain Punch. It doesn't go for the Sucker Punch. That doesn't make any sense. Can I be honest with you? That's a very confusing play to me. Because... Yeah, I, I really wish we had, uh... Oh, maybe, yeah, no, because now we should see... We don't see a Sucker Punch? That does not make any sense. You always Sucker Punch the Coridon slot. I think, yeah, our opponent threw... Our opponent played that perfectly, because I, I completely forgot about Fake Out. So our opponent absolutely played that correct. Oh, and we do hit the thunder, which is massive. 
Um, poison jab probably is going to do a lot. We might. I think we still lose, though. Oh, we survive. Oh, man. So here's the question, right? If you're my opponent, you probably I, I so so here's the thing, right? I don't protect Galvantula because Galvantula is faster. Now, if you're my opponent, you could go, you know, if you do have Sucker Punch, you could Sucker Punch the Galvantula, but you need to Poison Jab. Okay, they canceled. Yeah. I, I still think you would. You can, you can still pull that out, though, because what you do is you poison jab the cacturn slot because, you know, that, that's the hit, and you hope that Thunder misses because Thunder only has a base accuracy of 70%. Compound Eyes, I think, is a 10% increase. Even if it's, like, 15 or 20, that only brings it up to, like, an 80, 85. So, at most, it's an 85, but I'm pretty sure it's just a 77 so compound eyes like you you can still bank on thunder missing just because i hit thunder once doesn't mean i'm gonna hit thunder twice so i i honestly don't think you forfeit there i think you poison jab the cacturn slot and then you go for you hope that i miss thunder and then at that point you hope that i miss thunder again or if you have sucker punch but i also think i don't know why my opponent didn't go for the sucker punch with the Alolan Doug Trio, since we already saw the Sucker Punch once, I believe they Sucker Punched my Tornadus, I want to say, or maybe it was the Hisuian Zorark, maybe I'm, I'm misunder, misremembering the turn, but the, the big, the big, big blunder that we had was the turn, um, uh, was when the Scrafty came out for real, and I did not protect the Coridon, which I'm pretty sure I would have been able to protect the Coridon. Um, and so that was the big problem was I needed to protect the Coridon and, uh, for the fake out, which I did not, did not. That was the biggest blunder. We somehow still pulled it out because my opponent, I think my opponent should have played it out. They, they, uh, they misclicked there.